Hello beautiful people, how is it going? I'm Lucas and today we're going to be checking out the Dr. Bonkers Mesa 412 cab. Hello everybody, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Today we are going to be listening to the Dr. Bonkers 412 Mesa Cab. I have already recorded some tracks with it. I have my uh, recto patch from my Axe FX3 already recorded right here. And then right here I have my 5150 also from my Axe FX3. I'm going to play a little bit of it in a mix. I'm going to solo it so you can hear just the guitar tracks by themselves. And then I'll unsolo it and you can finish out with the rest of the mix. And we're going to do the same thing from the 5150 and we'll talk a little bit about the cab. So let's get to the good stuff. the riggedy riggedy recto now let's see what the 5150 sounds like once again same exact thing let's go Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was the Dr. Bonkers 412 Mesa Cab. The IR that I use for this particular go about is bring in Axe Edit so you can see it right here. And the particular IR that I used was the 421 SM57 variety the PZM was the one that I used for this one um, I'll go over what PZM means in a second when we talk about the cab so let's talk about the cab a little bit based on the Mesa Boogie 412 recto standard oversized cab that is slanted and it has the Celestion 70 watt V30 speakers which are some of the best speakers ever put into Mesa cab and you actually can't get them anymore which is a little sad now you have two types of IRs you have the ones with the power ramp which when, when it was shot with the power ramp, it was bigger, tubier, slightly out of control low end that some people may like. And then you have the Mike DI method, which is just the more traditional IR capture method. So in the pack itself, you're going to have PZM's one. This is the ones that were captured with the power ramp themselves uh, at key resonance points on the cabinet. So they can be blended, but I actually just used it straight on my amp and it sounded great. And then you do also have the um, the regular non-PZM ones. So we we'll go into Axe Edit real quick, and this just how that's just how they look. Like, see the ones with the Crown Power Ramp have PZM on them, and then the ones without it. This regular DI method are just the ones right here. I had to convert. I converted all of these for my Axe Fix thing into .SYX, so I could actually come in and use it. And uh, you have a ton of different mics in here. You have the AKG 451, the and the D12VR, the Blue the Ball EV RE20, Sennheiser 421, 441, Shure SM5781, Time Deluxe David Bach U97, and I do have a few others. All the different mics are, and if you go into the individual mic tabs in the um, actual IR pack itself, it has a ton of them. I didn't even mess with those. I just went straight to the different mixes because these sounded great. Um, I used the 42157 for um, both the 5150 and for the Recto. 5150 was block letter, by the way. And this is the this is the hyper real mixes right here, the ones with the crown with the PZM right here, and then you have the other ones like I said right here, coming up right here. I absolutely love this pack. It sounds super great. Uh, I actually on my Mesa patch I have right here, I use them on uh, a ton of different ones because it sounds it sounds really great. It it sounds really good with the recto. The recto cap sounds good with the recto. Imagine that it sounds uh, really good. And this is the different layout. Of how they're abbreviated, you have TL, TR, BL, and BR. So it's top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. And like I was saying earlier with the single cab, single cab choices, you can actually mix these together if you want and get different, um, get a little different sounds. And these are uh, these are all the the mic libraries. 
that he was talking about earlier on. Overall, I actually really, really, really like this this cab pack. It I know there is a lot of 412 Mesa packs out there. I do have some of those too, but this one for some reason it I just jived it, for my patches. It just jived with it a little bit better, and I think they sound really, really great. So that is gonna wrap it up for the Doctor Broncos 412 Mesa cab. Let me know what you thought about them. Do you like them? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Let me know in the comments down below. So for me, I'm gonna have to be out. Peace.